Hey, 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 Weaver Snaps, this is Tour for the Grey. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Pokemon Showdown Ray version season three. Uh, this week we are kicking off our NU gym battles, and uh, last week we rolled for it to be a fire gym, so you guys had to put together your best NU fire teams. Um, had a lot of interesting variation this week, which was fun to see. Uh, we are fighting a gym trainer Pocket Flygon here. Saphir comes in, name spelled right this week. Takes a hard multi-attack from the ground type Savali, and then goes down. Ghost Chili then comes in, throws up the fake out, not enough to even finish off Saphira, but fast enough, gonna take down Saphira with a flamethrower there. Then Donatello switches in. Donatello new to the team this week. Um, I had a lot of people predicting that I would be using Blastoise last week uh, because he was added to, or he's an NU Pokemon, so it was my first possibility to use Blastoise. Uh, did not use him last week, but I figured, well, I, I, was, I was half tempted to put Caracosta back on the team. Um, Ridley. Ridley is this Caracosta's name uh, that I've used in the past, but uh, I was like, you know what, I'm going to put a Water Turtle on the team, I might as well get, get some good Shell Smashing Blastoise going, so did that, a lot of fun, Glinda takes down the uh, Lolan Executor there, um, Ghost Chili can throw up the Sludge Wave, Glinda's still not a Fairy type, so that works out, and able to take down Ghost Chili before going down to the Poison Damage herself. Which point Glyph comes in, Glyph back on the team. So yeah, instead of doing Caracosta, I decided to put Glyph on the team, um, mostly just to get hazards going again this week. Obviously, ground type, um, but a lot of fire types uh, used this week that don't really care about uh, Earthquake. So uh, mostly there to get the hazards on the field and things like that. Been a couple of weeks since I used hazards, so I figured maybe you guys wouldn't be as prepared as potentially you might otherwise be to, to get rid of them. So down goes Glyph uh, to Bell there. Uh, Fly Guy going with the uh, Pepper naming scheme. Charlotte coming in and taking out the... Uh, the Talon Flame there, uh, going to take a hard Thunderbolt from Cayenne uh, before taking Cayenne down with a Liquidation. Jalapeno then comes in and is going to get the Intimidate off on Charlotte and then take Charlotte down. Uh, gets the Wandering Spirit ability there. Uh, and then Lol gonna switch in, take a hard Play Rough and go down. So, uh, yeah, Flygon coming in, uh, kicking us off this week, taking the victory. Let's see how the rest of the gym is going to go for us, shall we? Here we go. Alrighty, guys, and here we are up against a gym trainer, Arctic Animal, and Mac leads off with Talonflame doing a hard Brave Bird. Glyph going to be able to get the rocks up uh, as Talonflame attempts to chip away at Glyph's uh, defenses here. Uh, probably just wants to get Glyph off the field so they can get some sort of defog or something going, but Glyph's just like, yep, I know I can't hit you. I did make a mistake this week. I just put Glyph on the team as as is. Um, I should have put Toxic on Glyph. I should... Because Glyph would previously had Will-O-Wisp, and I realized, like, my first battle, like, ah, crap, I'm not going to be able to Will-O-Wisp anybody, because it's a fire gem, so it was a completely wasted slot. I should have had some sort of attack, or thrown Toxic on it, or something, but uh, did not. So that was a misclick on my behalf. Um, Glyph goes out, Donatello's now in, uh, throwing up the Shell Smash, taking that hard explosion. Uh, got the White Herb to get rid of our lower defenses there. Uh, and so we're just gonna kind of be in a position to just uh, just kind of sweep through the rest of Max team here. <laughs> I felt so bad doing it, but then how often do do I get to use a shell smashing uh, uh, Blastoise? I, I had to revel in the experience uh, for a little bit, but I do feel bad. Um, I usually like I had two water types on my team this week, and I feel I, I'm sorry about that. I am. Normally, I wouldn't do that. I already had a rock type. I put a ground, like, my team is a little more stacked than it would otherwise normally be. And so, I feel bad about that, but also Shell Smashing Blastoise. So, I could not, but you, you guys understand. You guys get it. So, <laughs> you probably don't. But, uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for participating this week, Gym Trainer Mac. I greatly appreciate it. Let's jump into the next battle, shall we? Here we go. Alrighty, and here we are up against a gym trainer, Shunasaurus, and uh, as I'm apologizing for how stacked my team was this week, obviously some of you guys still managed to eke out victory, so not totally detrimental, but um, I I'm also going to apologize as I'm apologizing things. I'm sick right now. Uh, Tortellini got a, a runny nose this weekend, um, which necessitated um, lots of extra cuddles, which usually means that I get sick too. Uh, and so that's part of the reason why this episode's coming out late, because Tortellini was was sick and needed a little more attention. I couldn't sneak away at any point to get a recording done. Uh, and then um, and then also just now I'm sick and you guys have to listen to it. So I apologize. I noticed as I was wrapping up uh, Max battle 
here a second ago. I th that th I was you could hear it in my voice for sure. I was like, oh, that's gross, but I'm gonna finish this. Been pause and cough when when, <laughs> when the battle's over. Um, Glinda in uh, taking some hard beatings from the Magmortar. There, Magmortar goes down. We get a good uh, psychic sleep talk there. The Giga Drain hitting Glinda there. Um, I misclicked. I for I miscounted and and went for the sleep talk on the turn that I woke up. So that was. That was unfortunate, uh, at which point Lol then comes in, uh, Charizard throwing up the Weather Ball, we get a Drain Punch going, Lol doesn't have a ton, um, this bulky Scrafty doesn't have a lot of, it's, it's just got Stab, uh, Dark and Fighting, it doesn't really have a whole lot else going on it, so, uh, basically it can stay alive, but it, it, it's not necessarily, like, if it, if it doesn't have a super effective, it's not doing a ton otherwise. Uh, Saphira then comes in, we miss the Focus Blast and the Head Smash at each other, uh, but then Charizard's faster, lands its Focus Blast the second attempt, and takes down the, uh, the, uh, the Tyrantrum there. Um, Donatello comes in, gets up his setup, um, up against the Ludicolo, uh, not gonna do a whole lot, this Ludicolo, man. <laughs> Shun ran. It was a sunny day. Fire punch, Ludicolo or something. So, I mean, it uh, maybe maybe it's chlorophyll too. That would make sense. Um, but uh, yeah, I I just I didn't didn't think about grass types as I was building this team. <laughs> uh, Charlotte's already dead, so that that's pretty much the only answer I've got to grass types. Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you so much for participating this week, Shun. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, let's jump into the next one, shall we? Here we go. Alrighty, and here we are up against Gym Trainer Espresso Cat. They lead off with Catherine, another uh, grass type in here, setting up the sun and going for the solar beams. Uh, so the solar beam is going to continue to hit Glyph. Glyph manages to take two of them before getting taken out here. So uh, helps us to stall out the sun a little bit, helps us to get up a couple of hazards in the meantime. Uh, Charlotte then switching in. We've got our bug type for the grass types this time. Uh, Charlotte going to get that leech life off on Catherine. Uh, the buff to that is beautiful. Um... Solar Beam gonna hit, Charlotte takes that like it's nobody's business, uh, finishing off the... Pokemon that I forget its name! It's a Pokemon I really don't like! Steeny? Maybe it's Steeny? Bounce Sweet is the pre... Anyway, uh, <laughs> Turtonator comes out. I'm surprised I didn't see more Turtonators. Um, a couple of you guys had them, but you would think the water resist would be something people would be interested in. I mean, Turtonator's not an amazing Pokemon, but, uh, still. Uh, Glinda magic bounces, uh, well, tries to magic bounce back the toxic, but, uh, the Turtonator was already toxic from the, or poisoned from the, from the hazard, so that didn't end up working out for it. Uh, Bonfire then comes in. Shiny Heatmore is really nice. I, I, I'm not a fan of Heatmore as a Pokemon in general, but it's shiny as, as, it's pretty primo. Uh, Glinda then goes down to a flamethrower. Primo, wow, I'm old. Uh, at <laughs> which point Cat comes in. Uh, Donatello subs up and is, d the U-turn doesn't break the sub, so that works out nicely. Uh, Donatello Tallo able to stay behind the sub, uh, avoid the Intimidate, get the Shell Smash going here. Um... <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, the wild charge finally breaks the sub, but Donatello's already all set up here. Uh, so now we're just going to do a little bit of surfing. Surfing USA. Uh, and Salem going to come in. So we're going to change which there like it. Uh, Zalazazale. I'm not sure what that means. Anyway, Donatello once again uh, makes me feel bad for putting him on the team and uh, wipes uh, or sweeps three Pokemon there at the end to take the victory. So, um,. Yeah, thank you so much for participating this week, Ecat. I greatly appreciate it. Let's jump into the next battle, shall we? Here we go! Alrighty, guys, and here we are up against Gym Trainer Scad, and Scad leads off with Starfire. Um, I'm pretty sure... No, I did I did send out Glyph. I was going to say, by the time I looked over at what I had on my team, it was, it was Charlotte. I was like, did I choose to lead with Star uh, Charlotte? Expecting what he was going to pull out, but... Uh, nope, Glyph, uh, Glyph comes in now at this point, throws up the rocks before we switch out again. Oh, no, we don't switch out again in the face of the Starmie. I was like, you know what? Nope, I'm getting these rocks up. Uh, I wanted to try and take out Starmie because I assumed it definitely had Rapid Spin. Uh, so I went for the Earthquake there instead of trying to set up some spikes because I just wanted it gone. Um, Liquidation hits the Talonflame. A bad switch there for Scad, able to, to finish off the Talonflame. Um, Lol then up against Jubilee. Uh, Scad really wants to kill Law. Uh, <laughs> I, I go off just for get rid of its item, and then I think Law's gonna come out. Don't want to give Scad the satisfaction. At which point, Glinda comes in, takes the Diamond Storm. Doesn't do much for us there. Um, the uh, Psychic not doing much on the uh, the Deancey either, though. 
Uh, Flare Blitz hitting Glinda, bulky Glinda again this week, so not able to get through the defenses, and Starmie comes in, gets the rapid spin up finally, uh, and then Glinda... Oh no, it goes down to... Must have a life orb or something. Um, Glinda then gonna take a Thunderbolt, get a Dazzling Gleam off on Captain Marvel, at which point uh, Glinda goes down. Saphira then comes in, takes out Jubilee, no trouble at all. Uh, then Captain Marvel gonna get a hard grass knot, but gonna get finished off by the Saphira, uh, the uh, Tyrantrum. And then uh, Gwenpool comes in and finishing off. Uh, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Finishing off the Tyrantrum. Donatello gonna get behind the sub, but it's not gonna be enough. Uh, Donatello able to get the Shell Smash going here, uh, and then get a Surf to finish off Gwenpool. Uh, so, yeah, thank you so much for participating this week, uh, Gym Trainer Scad. I greatly appreciate it. Let's jump in to the next battle, shall we? Here we go! Alrighty, and here we are up against the final gym trainer of the week. Um, leading us into our gym leader here in just a minute. Um, Kungar's got his lead. <laughs> the shiny Salazzle there. Uh, or Sazilipede? Sazilipede. Sent a Scorch! There it is. I got there. Uh, Charlotte then comes in. I did realize um, this week several times um, Glyph's Wandering Spirit really screwed me. <laughs> a couple of times it was helpful that like Talon Flames lost their Gale Wings and instead got Wandering Spirit. Um, but then anytime I would hit that Talon Flame or something or whatever Pokemon it was, whoever he passed it to then passed it to me. And a couple of times I think with Charlotte, because Charlotte had like the head bubble or something, something that really nerfed fire moves. Um, ability and so a couple of times uh, uh, she lost that I think or at least once where it actually mattered uh, and uh, and so yeah that was that was tough I was like oh yeah for I haven't used glyph in a while didn't uh, didn't think about that um, I don't know how it didn't come up another time uh, but uh, lithium then gonna come in and finish off lol and Klungar gonna win the battle a real embarrassing one to finish off the trainers uh, <laughs> this week Klungar just he just came in and swept it was great um, not that this I think sh like shun beat me like three or four to zero and so too uh, it seems like the ones that i won i won real strong um i had four pokemon left or whatever um and and then the ones that i lost most were either close or really embarrassing so there was a big dichotomy of what was going on uh going on this week klungar even brought all fire pokemon some of you guys brought grass types and and i couldn't deal with those but klungar brought all fire i don't know what i, I got a couple bad rng rolls but uh, other than that uh, I got some pair hacks on Blastoise, I think, and uh, missed a head smash or two and things like that. But still, uh, Conquer just wiped the floor with me this week. So, uh, uh, yeah, uh, revenge for all the all the ones I've had, uh, victories I've had this so far this series. Anyway, um, that's it for our gym trainers. Thank you so much for participating this week, Clungar. I greatly appreciate you slipping in there at, at the very end of the week and embarrassing me greatly. Uh, just what I want to include in the series. <laughs> Anyway, guys, let's jump into the gym leader, shall we? And then we'll get that roll, and uh, we'll see what we're doing next week. Alrighty, guys, here we go. Alrighty, guys, and here we are up against gym leader Codeman in the NU fire type gym. Uh, Codeman's only got five Pokemon, but uh, was the closest battle considering that. So good, good work for you this week, Codeman. Uh, Jimmy the Torkoal comes in tanking earthquakes like it's nobody's business. Scorching sands. I don't even know what that move is, but uh, some sort of ground move that burns. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Uh, at which point Prophet then switches in. Uh, gonna set up the defog. Get rid of uh, get rid of uh, the rocks there. Donatello then gonna start sh setting up the shell smash. Uh, taking a hard thunderbolt from Prophet. Surf gonna finish off the Savali there. At which point Ash comes in with the mock punch. Gonna take a hard surf. Um, Valkyrie then comes in, gonna finish off Donatello, at which point Charlotte comes in, takes a hard dual wing beat, um, just enough uh, to finish us off here. I decided to go for the webs instead of for the uh, the attack, because I figured, oh, I got enough Pokemon, I, 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 I need this speed lower more than I need the kill, so uh, at which point then Saphir comes in, takes a hard stealing, and then going to go down uh, to a head smash. So, yeah, I think as I was looking through, I think once again, I think Scad actually had the closest battle. I think I only had three Pokemon remaining when I defeated Scad, uh, and that was the closest um, of the ones that I won. Uh, everybody else I had, of, of all my other victories, I had four Pokemon remaining, um, and Scad couldn't be the gym leader again because she was just the gym leader, and she was the evil team admin. I'm like, all right, we gotta spread the love around a little bit. So I, I disqualified Scad, and then of the other victories that I had, 
Uh, all of them had four Pokemon remaining, but Codeman only had five Pokemon. So I gave the edge to Codeman. Uh, congratulations on being the gym leader this week, Codeman. Uh, I greatly appreciate your continued uh, participation in the series. And uh, yeah. So thank you guys. Uh, thank you, Codeman. And thank you, everybody else who participated this week. I greatly appreciate it. I know it was a tough week for a lot of people to get in. Uh, we're a couple of battles sh short of what we would normally have this week, even on a gym week. So um, I know life's just busy for people. That's why. We, my inten original intention was to start this at the beginning of summer. I don't think we, I, I don't think I remembered that the plan was to do it in summer until like July at some point. And it was like, Oh, uh, and so, but yeah, I greatly appreciate you guys, even with school and work and everything still managing to get in here. Um, it's obviously easier for me than it's ever been. Cause I'm, I'm going on a year and a half of working from home for COVID and everything. But, uh, but yeah, so anyway, guys, thank you so much again for participating. I greatly appreciate it. And for those of you guys who were not able to participate this week, I hope we see you out here sometime in the future. All right, guys, let's figure out what we're supposed to be doing next week. And by next week, I mean this week, because it's Monday morning as I'm recording this. Uh, so uh, a little bit of a late one, but uh, we'll see what you guys need to start building rapidly so that we can get some battles in this week. Here we go. Alrighty guys, so here we are in our spreadsheet. So we just completed at the NU tier because we just did our gym battle, uh, which means we are now moving into the RU tier. Uh, you'll see a little bit of an update here on the, uh, the spreadsheet. Um, I've added this battle format uh, box. This will not be in play until we hit UU um, because once we hit UU, um, the plan is going to be to no longer allow national decks Pokemon um, because the only way we can do double battles potentially is to um, is to use just the Swish decks. The way Showdown is set up, you can't. There's not a way to like do doubles any other way really. Um, so um, we will be doing uh, once we hit UU. This will be another role that we have to do each week is determining what type of battle we're going to be doing. But that's we, it, it's only available UU and up, I think. Um, so we can't do it yet this week. Anyway, so what we can do, um, I also just put one of every encounter type here. I think I'd put like multiple grass and multiple waters to try and like balance out the you know ratios or whatever but there's no reason for that I, I just i got rid of a condensed everything down so i could fit this box in anyway uh so we've done normal fire fire point okay so um we need to rng what we're going to be doing so one through three and random between and it's a one we just did a rival battle do you guys want to do it well that's the way we rolled we rolled it on camera that's what it is uh, so another rival battle this week. I guess sometimes in games you get they, you get kind of stacked on top of each other. It's like didn't I just battle you? Um, but uh, yeah, so okay. Uh, are you rival battle this week? I guess. Uh, I need Glinda to evolve so bad. Um, but yeah, there we go. So we've got our N U or are you rival battle this week? Um, and we'll see you guys out there. Hopefully that'll be a little easier for you guys to put things together, I guess, because you've got NU rival teams, I think we just did, so, um, a, a tweak or two, and we should all be ready to go again, I guess. Uh, but anyway, guys, I hope to see you all out there, uh, and I apologize once again for the lateness of this, uh, upload. Um, it doesn't give you much time to turn around, and normally, I would, if I knew it was gonna be this late, I would have, like, rolled and given it to you in the Discord or something, but I just, I... This weekend was so busy, and then and then Tortellini was sick, and it just it was a whole thing. So um, it just didn't uh, didn't happen. Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, I've been Tortle the Great. You guys have been great. I greatly appreciate your continued support on this series, uh, participating or liking or commenting or watching or whichever. Um, it's just kind of fun to be back in this with a, a kind of low commitment series. Um, you know, I, I used to do. I, I was reminiscing with a, a friend of mine the other day about how much we used to do with this kind of stuff, and it's just like, oh, I don't have any idea how. It, managed to do that um uh, so uh yeah anyway guys i've been touring the grand you guys have been great make sure those likes comments, subscriptions for me guys and i'll see you all back here next time all guys have a good one